Hello. Hi, everyone. Um, I just realized I'm not wearing my name tag. I'm sorry about that. My name is Miss Erin, and I work at the Mount Airy Library. It's nice to see you. Hello. Um, nice to be seen by you. <laughs> so um, I wanted to say hello. Happy Friday. Um, oh, it's such a dreary day out here in Carroll County, uh, but hopefully it'll be a nicer weekend. I don't know. We miss you so much. Can't wait to see you again. But for right now, we're staying safe in our homes. Um, so I am coming to you live from my home. And today I wanted to talk about one of my very favorite things of all time. And that is monsters. I love monsters. And I think monsters, they can be scary, yes, but I think monsters are misunderstood. Hmm, that's kind of a big word, misunderstood. So what that means is you might think something is one way, but once you get to know it a little better, you find out more things about it. And that's how I feel about some monsters. So grown-ups, my favorite monster is Frankenstein's monster. And if you have not read uh, Frankenstein by Mary Shelley, it's one of my all-time favorite books. Now is a perfect time to read it. We've got lots of time. Um, it's available through our OverDrive uh, digital resource site. Um, and it's 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 very it's old, so it's it's actually available a lot of a lot of places. And I bet if you look in your bookshelves, you might have a copy from college or something. Um, so that's my favorite monster. That's a grown up monster. But there are lots of really cool kiddo kind of monsters, and that's what we're going to talk about today. So I wanted to talk about. Um, another digital resource, which is Tumble Books. I was on there earlier and I just typed in the subject search monsters and I found a great book called He Came with the Couch. Mm, 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 it sounds ominous. And it is by David Stoneham. And on Tumble Books, you can read it or you can watch a video of someone else reading it, kind of like reading rainbow style. And so that's what I did. And it was really fun. And he's a very cute little monster. And you'll have to find out why he sits on the couch all the time. Um, so I have some other things here. I wanted to tell you about a book that I really like called Eat Pete. This is by Michael Rex. That last name kind of reminds me of a T-Rex dinosaur, which... They're not around anymore, but I feel like they're kind of like monsters a little bit. Now, Eat Pete kind of sounds a little scary. Would you eat someone named Pete? No. And we start out with the monster is looking through a window. Who do you think is on the other side? Pete. Pete was playing on his bedroom floor when a monster appeared at his window. Ooh. He kind of looks like one of the wild things. Yeah, a little bit from where the wild things are. Yeah. Hmm. Hi, said Pete. Do you want to play cars with me? The monster didn't want to play cars with Pete. He wanted to eat Pete. Oh, no. <gasps> But look what happens. Does he eat Pete? No. But playing cars look like fun. So they had some races. Hmm. What do you think happens next in the book? We're not going to read the whole book today. We all have to make some guesses. Maybe it ends on a positive note. Do you think he eats Pete? Oh, I hope not. But maybe he does. And then maybe something even better happens after. You'll have to read the book to find out. Okay, I wanted to introduce you to a friend of mine. He is a monster, and he has been very misunderstood, but I would like him to sort of speak for himself. Oh, monster friend! Oh, hello. Oh, it's just getting ready. Just kind of combing my hair, polishing my horns, you know, all that kind of good stuff. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, oh, look at all these bright lights. <gasps> Who's out there? Oh. oh, are you out there? 
Oh, hi, kids. Hello. Oh, hello. My name is... Oh, whoop. What's my name? I forgot my name. Your name is Snowball. Oh, yeah. That's right. My name is Snowball. Not like the kind of snowball that you throw in the wintertime. But the kind of snowballs that you eat in Maryland. Mm, do you live in Maryland? Do you eat frozen snowballs? Oh, yeah. Well, Miss Erin named me Snowball because I look like her two favorite snowball flavors. That is, mmm, egg custard. That's where my orange comes from. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And skylight blue. Ooh, I love it. Yes. Mm. What kind of snowballs do you like? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, you like that marshmallow in there? Oh, wow, that's so good. Okay, yes. So, Monster, I wanted you um, to come and say hello to some of our friends here because monsters sometimes are very misunderstood creatures. Oh, don't I know it. Yes, misunderstood. Yes, that is a big word. I am misunderstood. Lots of people think that I am scary. <gasps> Maybe because I do stuff like that. Because I have these fangs here and because I have these sharp teeth and this big mouth and even my horns but i tell you what i don't even eat meat i'm a vegetarian mm -hmm. any fellow vegetarians out there oh yes that's right yeah i like plants i like tofu i mean i'm not gonna worry about eating you maybe if you had some delicious candy oh i would love to eat some of that mm -hmm, mm -hmm. oh okay well that's nice to know yeah. So, okay. Um, well, we just wanted to say hi, um, friends. I just wanted to give Monster here kind of a chance to speak for himself because, you know, monsters sometimes can be scary. Yeah, that is a stereotype. I am not scary. I am friendly. Well, sometimes if I haven't had a nap, I'm a little scary. Well, who isn't? Um, so, okay, well, Monster, we will see you next time. Maybe we'll see you around Halloween. Oh, Halloween, that is my favorite holiday. I love it so much. Yes, 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 yes. Well, I'm here any old time, so it was so good to see you, friends. Stay safe, stay healthy, and we will see you next time. Bye. Oh, bye, Monster. That was so nice. Wasn't that nice? Yeah, he's so fun. So I thought we could sing a song that will help us um, relate to monsters more. Do you know the song, head, shoulders, knees and, knees and toes, head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, eyes and ears and mouth and nose, head, shoulders, Knees and toes, knees and toes. Yay, excellent. I have a monster version. Are you ready? All right, let me get out my board so we can follow along here. Now, our friend Monster had these things. He had horns and fangs, knees and claws, knees and claws, horns and fangs, knees and claws, knees and claws. Eyes and ears and tails and paws. Horns and fangs, knees and claws, knees and claws. Excellent job. All right, we're going to do that two more times so we get really good at it. You ready? Horns and fangs, knees and claws, knees and claws. Horns and fangs, knees and claws, knees and claws. Eyes and ears and tails and paws. Horns and fangs, knees and claws, knees and claws. Yes, excellent job. Oh, hello, you're singing along, excellent. All right, let's do it one more time. We're gonna get really good at it, ready? <laughs> Horns and fangs, knees and claws, knees and claws. Horns and fangs, knees and claws, knees and claws. Eyes and ears and tails and paws, horns and fangs, knees and claws, knees and claws. Yay! Excellent job! Oh, hi, Elliot James. Hi, our friends. Oh, look at our cool friends are all here. Yay! Excellent. 
So we saw some monsters. We sang about ourselves as being, you know, having monster parts. Now, I wanted to show you a book that I really love that's on Overdrive right now, or Libby, whichever you use. And it's called Quit Calling Me a Monster. This is by Jory John. So our monster here, he doesn't like to be called a monster. Maybe because, as we've talked about, monsters get a bad rap. He actually has a name. And his name is... Let me find it. His name is... Oh my gosh, where is it? He has a very normal name. Here it is. Ready? His name. My name is Floyd. Floyd Peterson. Please call me Floyd Peterson from now on and I won't roar at you like this. Roar! Or like this. Roar! Or like this. So maybe if you read this book, maybe you will learn that if you ask a monster what their name is, you could call them by that. That's right. This is a very fun book. It's a very silly book. I love the illustrations in it. And again, this one is available on Overdrive. So go check it out. Okay. So I thought we could also make a monster together. Okay. And there's two ways that we can do that. One way is I happen to have a monster here. See my monster? Oh, hello. And he is a beautiful shade of purple. Now, this monster, though, has a little song because he loves something called polka dots. Polka dots. I love polka dots, but I have none. Can you please give me a hmm, one? Hmm, what color do you think? Hmm, let's see if I have some color polka dots here. Oh, do you think he wants this one? What color is that? Green. <gasps> let's see. Oh, yes, I love that one. Oh, I love polka dots. But now I just have one. Can you please give me a... Hmm, let's see what other color I have. <gasps> What color is this? Yellow. Oh, yes, please give me a yellow one. A yellow one right, right there, yeah. Oh, beautiful. Now we start to have a colorful polka dot monster. Do you wanna keep going? I have some more colors, ready? I love polka dots, but now I only have two. Can you please give me a, <gasps> Caleb says a red one, let's see. <gasps> I have a red one! Oh yeah, Caleb, awesome job! No, I fell! Oh, I was so excited about my polka dots. Oh, good job. Okay, we got our yellow and green, and now we've got our beautiful red one! Oh yeah, I love it. Thank you so much. Okay, let's try one more. I have polka dots. I love polka dots, and I have polka dots, but I know I only have three. Can you give me number four? One, two, three. Hmm, what color should we do for number four? I have a blue polka dot. Oh yes, I love my blue polka dot, but I don't like the number four, I like the number five. Oh, okay, a little picky here. Let's see. We can get number five. Okay, now I have one, two, three, four polka dots, but I want one more. Can you give me the color? <gasps> what color is this? If you're an Orioles fan, you should know this is the color orange. Yay, awesome job. Oh yeah, five polka dots feels so good. Can you count with me? One, two, Three, four, five! Yay! Polka dot monster! Woohoo! Awesome job, friends! You made such a cool monster! Wow, he looks awesome. Now, do you remember I said there are 
two ways that you could make a monster. So you could make a plain monster and just put some polka dots on him, or you and your grown up could decide between two features. Now, what do I mean by features? Well, I mean your eyes, your nose, your mouth, your eyebrows, lots of things. So let's see if we can create a monster with some of our features here. I've got, we've got a couple of choices. Let me get out a blank whiteboard mm -hmm, and a marker. Okay, I'm going to make a big, nice, let's see, monster head. Maybe he's got this kind of head. Okay, now let's talk about our eyes. It's very important we have eyes. You could do big eyes or small eyes. Hmm, let's see. What do we think? We could even do one of each. He could kind of be a little bit wonky that way. But I'm going to go, hmm, kind of right in the middle. But I think I'm a little closer to small. Okay, we're going to make some small eyes. Are you ready? Here's some small eyes. Whoop, boop. Oh, he kind of looks like Bart Simpson there. <laughs> His haircut. Whoa, very good. Ooh, he is a little spooky. We can make him a little friendlier, though. Now, we could choose his eyebrows to go up like this, like doop, doop. Or they kind of look mean if they go down. But you can make them go down like this, down, down. Yeah. But his small eyes kind of look a little spooky. So let's give him eyebrows that go up. Ready? They're going to go up, up. There. He kind of looks like... Oh, he's got a question for you. Hmm. Okay. Now let's talk about, oh, his mouth. Do you want him to be a sad monster and frown? Can you make a frown? Oh, that's good. That's so sad. Can you make a happy monster with a smile? Can you show me a beautiful smile? Yes, yeah, so beautiful. Hmm. Could be either one. All right, let's try. Oh, a smile. Okay, let's do a smile. Maybe we'll do a red smile. Red smile. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Maybe we'll give him a bit of a mouth there. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> kind of looks like a cave painting a little bit. That's okay. <laughs> now, last, let's give him some... <laughs> Teeth. Okay, we could do sharp teeth. See how they all have points? Or we could give him nice round teeth. What do you think? Er. All right, we kind of made him friendly otherwise, so I kind of want to give him sharp teeth, right? Okay, sharp green teeth. Ooh, if he has green teeth, what do you think his breath smells like? Oh, probably not great. Oh, yay! Awesome! So you could make a monster that way. Awesome job. Okay, I wanted to tell you about one last book. This book is called I Will Not Eat You. And this is by Adam Lairhoft. Oh, we see our red eyes there. Yeah, it's kind of a scary cover here. But his name is Theodore. So this monster has a name named Theodore. Theodore lived in a cave. It was a quiet cave, but that's the way he liked it. One morning, a, blur, a bird flew up to the cave. It tweeted, tweet, 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 and squawked at Theodore. Theodore thought, does it want me to eat it? Hmm. But Theodore wasn't hungry. Go away, silly bird. He whispered, I will not eat you. And the bird flew away. Hmm. So as the story goes on, there are more and more creatures that come by until one day we see a brave boy 
So you will have to read the book to find out what happens when that brave boy walks by the cave. Maybe Theodore is hungry by that point. But he says, I will not eat you. Okay. So we have quite a few monster stories. If you go to Tumble Books, if you go to Hoopla, Overdrive, Libby, Canopy, all of those digital resources that we have for you, and type in monsters, you will find so many things. I wanted to end with a little song. And I saw this song. I kind of tweaked it a little bit. But I thought this is a really good song because one of the things I love about monsters is that sometimes they they just get, they're a little bit, um, they have a short temper. Do you ever have that? Yeah, when you haven't taken a nap or when you're a little hungry or just things aren't going your way and you kind of get a, a real like mean temper about stuff. Well, I think monsters kind of have that going on too. So they're pretty relatable. So I thought we could learn this song that we could sing when we're feeling like a little monster, okay? And it goes to the tune of I'm a Little Teapot. Let's do that one first so we know. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my spout. When I get all steamed up, hear me shout. Tip me over and pour me out. Excellent. Okay, so you know that song. This one goes, I'm a little monster, bright and blue. Here are my hands. I have two. When I get all steamed up, it's a monster zoo. Two deep breaths. <sighs> that should do. Yay! Do you want to try that two more times? I'm a little monster, bright and blue. Here are my hands. I have two. When I get all steamed up, it's a monster zoo. Two deep breaths. <sighs> That should do. Okay, one more time. Last time to close it out, ready? I'm a little monster, bright and blue. Here are my hands, I have two. When I get all steamed up, it's a monster zoo. Two deep breaths. That should do. Yay, awesome. So now you have a tool for if you're ever feeling like a monster. Okay, my friends, which that's okay. We all do. I would like you to please repeat after me. I am great. Great. I am smart. I am smart. I am strong. I am strong. I am loved. I am loved. Today will be awesome. Today will be awesome. Awesome, guys. I hope you have such a great day. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for your comments. It helps me to see that you guys are really there, and I miss you guys so much. I will see you next time. Bye.